All right, so comedian Jon Stewart has been making the rounds over the last day or so, basically just blasting Republicans for once again voting against a piece of legislation that was supposed to be going towards helping veterans who had been exposed to toxic burn pits over the many different wars that we have sent them to. So we're going to get into a couple different clips here, but first just to set it up with a little bit of context in terms of what happened. So they say here from the Washington Post, Senate Republicans block bill uh, to help veterans exposed to burn pits. So Senate Republicans on Wednesday blocked a bill to help veterans exposed to toxic burn pits weeks after the measure initially sailed through the Senate with 84 votes, angering Democrats, veterans groups, and comedian Jon Stewart, a leading proponent to aid the community. And they say Senator John Teston, chairman of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, was particularly incensed by the turn of events. Tester and uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other lawmakers in Stewart uh, on Thursday morning joined veterans outside the Capitol who originally came to Washington to see the bill pass, but now they were just uh, blasting Republicans. But they say that the bill would significantly change how the Department of Veterans Affairs cares for veterans who were exposed to toxic substances by compelling the uh, Veterans Affairs Office to presume that certain illnesses are linked to exposure to hazardous uh, waste incineration, mostly focused on the issue of burn pits from recent wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And they say that would remove the burden of proof from injured veterans. I mean, already think about the current circumstances that these veterans are facing, right? A lot of them have serious illnesses like cancer and many times like terminal illnesses, and uh, they're having to go through like hell to just prove that the burn pits were likely the cause of their illness. I mean, you know, veterans, obviously, I believe in completely decommodifying healthcare. I believe that every single American citizen deserves a, a healthcare that is free at the point of service and guaranteed as a human right, but especially just kind of like a slap in the face to these people that you sent to go fight and die and be, you know, horrifically maimed and injured in these wars, uh, many of which were completely unnecessary offensive wars of aggression, especially like Iraq and Afghanistan. But then you just turn around and you're forcing them to like jump through hoops in order to get basic, uh, you know, healthcare and living standards for themselves. Just the most ghoulish shit imaginable, but. They continue saying that Democrats accused Republicans of voting against the bill in retaliation for a deal announced earlier by Senate Majority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin, which I talked about on my channel yesterday, that would allow Democrats to move ahead on an economic health care and climate package without Republican votes. So it appears like basically Republicans didn't like the political maneuvering of Democrats and pushing forward with that Manchin Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. So they decided to just lash out at veterans in response to that. Now, of course, they have uh, denied that. They say Republicans say that's not true. They point instead to a budgetary policy dispute between the two parties, but that's complete bullshit. And uh, John Stewart is going to explain why that's bullshit here in a second. But also just to you know rub it in people's faces, we also had this clip of uh, Senate Republicans literally getting together and uh, clapping and like handshaking on the floor of the Senate uh, to brag about the fact that they just tanked this piece of legislation. So again, just completely you know ridiculous ghouls here. But now let's go ahead and uh, jump into this John Stewart clip here. Ain't this a bitch? America's heroes who fought in our wars outside sweating their asses off with oxygen, battling all kinds of ailments while these motherfuckers sit in the air conditioning walled off from any of it. They don't have to hear it. They don't have to see it. They don't have to understand that these are human beings. Do you get it yet? Do we see that these, are, these aren't heroes? These are men and women, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. <clears throat> that we just let stand outside in the heat when they can't breathe. I'm going to read you something. This, this is beautiful. This is a, I'm going to read you something beautiful. You know what? I said a curse word, and I'm sorry about that. That was my fault. Let me say something beautiful. This is a tweet from Senator Rick Scott of Florida from yesterday. It's beautiful, and I'm sorry about the cursing, and let me say something beautiful to make it up to you. I was honored to join the USO today and make care packages for our brave military members in gratitude, in gratitude of their sacrifice and service to our nation. And there's a beautiful picture. I wish you could see it. 
He's standing with a little package. Did you get the package? It's like, I think it has M&Ms in it and some cookies and some moist towelettes. I, I, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know what to say. I haven't come down here 10, 15 years. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Christina Keene will tell you from BFW. They, she sat in an office with Mitch McConnell and a war veteran from Kentucky and he looked that man in the eyes and he said, we'll, we'll get it done. And he lied to him. Because Mitch McConnell yesterday flipped. I'm used to the lies. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Senator Pat Toomey won't take a meeting with the veterans groups. Sends out his chief of staff. I'm used to the cowardice. I've been here a long time. Senate's where accountability goes to die. These people don't care. They're never losing their jobs. They're never losing their health care. Pat Toomey didn't lose his job. He's walking away. God knows what kind of pot of gold he's stepping into to lobby this government to shit on more people. I'm used to all of it, but I am not used to the cruelty. All right, so I'm going to pause it there. We're going to jump ahead to uh, another piece of this uh, same clip. But, I mean, so far, he's 100% right. I mean, listen, these Republicans, many corporate Democrats, the same thing applies as well. But these Republicans don't give a single solitary shit about the actual veterans, right? They're perfectly willing to, uh, you know, launch these uh, wars overseas, whether it's Iraq, Afghanistan, or even going back to uh, the Vietnam War, where a lot of these people were exposed to things like Agent Orange. So, uh, you know, they don't give a single solitary shit about the actual veterans. They just care about, you know, defending their own personal interests. They care about protecting the interest of U.S. multinational corporations, uh, who the U.S. military acts on behalf of, and they're perfectly willing to treat these uh, troops as literal like cannon fodder and just treat them as if they, uh, you know, are, are just to be thrown to these different various uh, wars to be, uh, you know, maimed and, and horrifically injured, and then when they come back home, they're treated like absolute shit. So he's 100% right on that. But let's go ahead and jump to a, uh, a little bit forward here in this clip because he has an absolutely amazing quote, just showing exactly how ridiculous these Republicans are and how they really only care about serving the military industrial complex. So let's go ahead and watch this clip. I want to make sure that I give him his propers. Patriot Pat Toomey stood on the floor and said, this is a slush fund. They're going to use $400 billion to spend on whatever they want. That's nonsense. I call bullshit. This isn't a slush fund. You know what's a slush fund? The OCO, the Overseas Contingency Operations Fund, $60 billion, $70 billion every year on top of $500 billion, $600 billion, $700 billion of a defense budget. That's a slush fund, unaccountable, no guardrails. Did Pat Toomey stand up and say, this is irresponsible, the guardrails? No, not one of them did. They vote for it year after year after year. You don't support the troops, you support the war machine. That's all you care about. Boy, they haven't, they haven't met a war they won't sign up for, and they haven't met a veteran they won't screw over. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. But I mean, Jesus Christ, he's 100% right. I mean, this is a guy who's been fighting for this specific issue, going and doing like congressional hearings, making public statements like this, uh, platforming actual veterans who are dealing with this, you know, ridiculous procedure through the VA to get these health benefits. So he's been doing this for like over a decade at least. And he completely understands the dynamic of why this is not able to get passed. It's not just about like political partisanship or Republicans choosing to play the political games because they've done this repeatedly. I mean, this is not anything new. They've been denying these uh, troops these benefits for years now. I mean, you know, that's why he's ha been having to come out here for over a decade to keep saying the same goddamn thing on repeat. But he's also 100% correct in terms of like identifying the connections with the military industrial complex and saying that they only care about the war machine. I mean, that is 100% true. And just to put it in perspective here, okay, the money that they're actually talking about giving in a, a total budgetary sense uh, to fund the healthcare for these veterans is literally only, I think, like $300 billion 
million dollars or so over you know a successive period of time over a couple of years so uh, we're talking about like fractions fractions of what we spent on our endless wars overseas trillions of dollars dumped into these wars uh, a tiny fraction of what we spend on the military budget the Pentagon budget uh, on a on an every single year basis so I mean that's the reality that we have right now we have almost a trillion dollars being dumped into just the Pentagon budget and the OCO as he was just uh, pointing out there almost a trillion dollars a year and these Republicans are actually trying to come out and say we're opposing this bill because of like budgetary concerns I mean where the fuck was that same energy where was that same concern when it came to you know the 830 or some odd uh, military or billion dollar a year military budget that you just signed off on I mean just this last military budget that they passed they literally added on the Senate Armed Services Committee added on like an extra 60 billion dollars that wasn't even on the military's wish list okay so they're just dumping infinite sums of money while the Pentagon literally can't even pass an audit to tell us where all of this money is going so you want to talk about like you know getting your finances in order or uh, you know reducing the debt and deficit which Republicans love to use as an excuse to push austerity on working class people or on veterans in this instance you want to talk about a financial black hole that's the fucking Pentagon so you know if you can shill out like tens of billions of dollars a year on pointless projects that the military isn't even asking for then you could definitely pay for goddamn health care for veterans I mean this shouldn't be a controversial issue you shouldn't have to have uh, you know John Stewart a celebrity a talk show host having to go out there and make the case for these veterans it's just it's fucking pathetic but he also made an appearance here on uh, Fox News to push back against a lot of the conservative propaganda that's been coming out surrounding this so I also wanted to jump into this clip real quick so let's go ahead and watch this spoke two months ago today and I, I, mm -hmm. I watched your, your clip from yesterday, and it, as we say back in Ohio, you were hacked off. Do you still believe that this bill will get done in some form? Boy, I pray, Bill. You know, it has to. These men and women have suffered for so many years exposed to these, and the government has not fulfilled their promise to them, and it, it has to get done. You know, these men and women live, they call it scan time. You know, they get a scan every three months, and if the scan is good, they get a decent three months, and if the scan is bad, and they cannot wait any longer. This delay has to stop. And I want to dispel some of the misinformation that has been put out about this bill. No spending that is not related to veterans has been added to this bill. No last minute budget gimmicks have been added to this bill. Uh, this bill is purely based on toxic exposure, health care and benefits to veterans. And by the way, don't take my word for it. Don't take an idiot's word parked on a side street in New York for it. Congress.gov has the text of the bill. Not one word has been added to that bill from the PACT Act bill that the Senate passed 84 to 14. Not one word has been added to it. There is no added pork. Hunter Biden didn't sneak in and add in unrelated spending in the middle of the night. This bill is exactly as it was with the removal of one sentence that had to do with taxation and rural medical facilities. Yeah, John, I, I so heard the you bill go that was yeah. passed 84 14. Uh, sorry about the interruption. Yeah, so he's 100% correct. I mean, again, this is, uh, you know, this is not a complicated issue here. It's not like Democrats were trying to slip through like Medicare for all or like free community college into uh, this bill, things that were like completely unrelated. It's the same goddamn bill that they just voted for. It's just that now uh, they didn't like the fact that, uh, you know, Joe Manchin came out with his uh, Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. They didn't like the Democrats were sort of doing something behind the scenes in a completely unrelated uh, thing that they were tackling with the uh, reconciliation bill. And so they just decided, you know, we are going to sacrifice veterans on the altar of our political partisanship in this circumstance so you know that's exactly what the reality is and unfortunately we're left with a situation where it's still up in the air and uh, you know maybe bringing it to light like this and, and going on doing all of these different shows I mean he's been on Fox he's been on Newsmax he's been on MSNBC and CNN so maybe bringing this much attention to it as well as doing uh, this event that they held last night where they were literally sitting on the steps of the Capitol building overnight okay pulling an all-nighter these goddamn veterans okay who are literally like having to 
breathe out of oxygen tank tanks who have you know cancer and other serious illness uh, as a result of their exposure to the burn pits they're having to sit outside of the goddamn capital to beg for basic health care okay it's just completely fucking ridiculous but again hopefully like he said it does end up passing because you know this is the least that you owe these people i mean i rail all the time on this channel against the military industrial complex against our you know various wars overseas against uh you know the corrupt politicians who wage those wars but at the end of the day uh these troops don't deserve any of this i mean they deserve the benefits that they are you know entitled to but they don't deserve being cast aside like this being treated like absolute dog shit uh they were some of the sacrificial pawns that the military industrial complex the u.s empire uh, was willing to put on the altar to you know serve the interests of multinational corporations to serve the interests of uh the security state to serve the interest of uh, the pentagon so i mean that's the situation at the end of the day uh hopefully this uh does end up getting passed but i'll keep you guys updated and uh you know figure out whether or not republicans have even a single ounce of self-respect left in them